You think you've got what it takes yes, to fight yes, with the arena? Greetings. Compound. He's vulnerable there. He likes to ship in his meat from a nearby village. That is your way in. Once you're inside, sneak into the interrogation room. His guard will be down. I want everyone from the warehouse loaded up with the 
always a steady supply of new prisoners coming in. We can keep this up for a long time. You should have seen it. Trying, not coming on you.
Mita, I got your pictures. Paul's one sick fuck. I can only imagine that. Yeah. If there's any good to take from this, it'll be that we can use these oh. to destroy Pagan Min's lies. Don't spend any longer there than you have to, huh? Amazing! <laughs> Good girl, are you getting ready for bed? Did you brush your teeth? For at least 10 seconds? That's my girl. Can you give your mom a big kiss for me? Well, you know, she gets lonely when I'm not there. You are the lady of the house. Of course, now you know daddy has to work, so... A gift? Sure, sweetheart, what did you want? ring. No, I, I don't think I've seen anything like that for you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. What else would you like? A necklace. Oh, a gold necklace. Well, actually, I think I see that exact thing. Yes, of course, it is shiny. Now, listen, Daddy has to work, all right? So I have to go. I, I love you, too. Yes. Kisses, kisses. I apologize for that. It's my daughter. You were here on time. I was not ready. No disrespect intended.
Noor sends her regards. Noor? <laughs> Noor? She thinks her family's still alive? <laughs> oh, oh, man, we killed them years ago! <laughs> oh, Lord. All those dear mommy letters? I've been writing them myself! Well, with Ashley, my daughter's help, I, uh, I told her it was for a pen pal. <laughs> She's a real tearjerker, my Ashley. I really think she's got the stuff to be a writer one day. You know, she wrote this poem in the third grade. Made me and the wife fall like babies. Oh, Jay, come on! Don't be like that. Don't pretend you give a damn when you don't. Huh? Mind your inner truth, Ajay. And the truth is your good at killing. He's alive. If you'd killed him, I wouldn't have blamed you. Yeah, I'm alive. Fucking taxi driver. Ugh. Show him to his new home. Who threw that? Fucking savages! Let go! Wait. Wait, that's my cell phone. Ajay, that's my cell phone. It's in my back pocket. I, I need my cell phone, man! Ajay, please! Please, I need my cell phone! Get off me, you monkey fuckers! Ashley! Ashley, baby, daddy's here! Thank you, Ajay. This is a good thing you've done here. We'll take care of Paul. We've got the perfect spot for him. America not so long ago. I looked up Bishwari, but I couldn't bring myself to see her. Not at all these years. You always regret those decisions when they die, don't you? Anyway, I was there with Deplore, or rather Paul Harmon. He invited me to his home to meet his family, to see the other side of him. It was incredible to see the man behind the man. Paul, the loving father and husband. I was as jealous as I was happy for him. We went to his daughter's school to see a recital. There was his darling Ashley, the light of his life. I could see the tears welling up in his eyes. So proud, so much love. It really made me think, what if I had followed Ishwari? What if that was you clumsily stumbling through a piano recital as I looked on Terry eye through a viewfinder, capturing every precious moment? It always hits you when it's too late, RJ. Always when they've gone. You guys have heard, but apparently there's a crazed killer running around Kirat with a thing for masks. I, I guess masks are like his calling card or something. Which got me thinking, what would be my calling card if I were to see a killer? I mean, you guys don't know what I look like, so I, I have that perfect veil of mystery. Calling cards, those are too cliche. Masks, those are already taken.
Let this shit again! 